guys a new home. But we also knew that your message about standing together and, and stopping bullying is so important to you. It makes me feel that Carl's message and Carl's story will go out and help a lot of other young people that are struggling in school. And so for that, I'm forever grateful. Do you guys have any idea what you might be looking at on the other side of this bus? No idea. No, no idea. No, no. I really think it's just a fresh start, a new beginning for a new generation, for these two especially. So I'm, I'm really excited. I think maybe we should show you what's behind this bus. What do you guys think? Yeah! Our old house, because of everything that had happened in it, we wanted to escape, but we felt trapped. When we saw the new house, in my heart, there was a sense of peace. And we haven't had that, you know, in a long, long time. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Not having the third floor is just really big for us. We don't have that sense that you can't get away from that. And in place of a third floor, we have sunbeams that shoot up to the sky. You know, that sense of peace is just amazing to me. There's somebody who we oh, really yeah. need to give a big hug to. And yes. of course, I'm talking about our builder this week, yeah. Nick Wiley! Yeah. I'm honored to be able to provide your family with a new home and a, a new start. And I hope that in Carl's memory, you continue doing what you're doing and, and helping other kids the way that you are. Sardina, despite losing her son, was able to stay so positive, and she becomes an advocate for children that are being bullied right now. So being able to help up such a worthy family, it's an amazing feeling. OK, so now I think it's time to actually see the inside of your house. Who's with me? just amazing. When you come from an old house with all the emotional bad memories that we had, and then when we saw the new house, you know, it's built with love. Every little detail, it's just wonderful. That's Carl. Oh, it's Carl. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. My soul was dying in the old house. I think our new home will definitely be a house of love. because I got the gymnastics room and I got the princess bed that I wanted and it said my name on the top of my bed. I love it. Oh my God! Wow! 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 I have the best of Boston sports in my room. I could practice basketball in my room. Nobody else has that room. I have the nicest room. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Isn't that nice? Oh my gosh, mom. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, the bedroom is beautiful. I can get around there very well. Oh my goodness, look at the bathroom! Oh, yes. Goodness, look at the uh, bathroom! I see. <laughs> this is really, really nice. Oh my God. Are you serious? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my God. This is 
mine? It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Everything is just beautiful. I feel free. I feel like I can breathe. Uh-uh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I can't wait to close my door, lay my head down, and go to sleep. parent, I didn't realize how much I relied on Carl. You know, Carl was like the little, little man around the house. And the day I lost my son was the worst day of my life. Of course, I will never forget Carl. He's very close to our hearts. I do have this sense that this is a new beginning. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home. And it was built with love. And that's the way it should be. Okay, so here's the thing. So down there is a room sort of for the whole family, but that's also a very special room for you, Dominique. Do me a favor, go check it out. Oh, wow! This is, oh my goodness. Get out. Look, look at, this is made of books here, look. Oh my goodness! Look at your oh diploma. My diploma. The family room is extra special. I was the first person in my family to go to college, and education is important, studying, homework, you know, everything. And so to have a place to do that in the new home is great. So you guys like everything you see? Yes! Oh, yes. yes! Are you guys ready to see your backyard? Yes! yes. Come on, okay. follow me! Oh my god, I'm about to think. Come on out there, oh. come on out, come on! Oh. You guys remember making your hand plants, yeah, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. So once we got those back, we actually made a plaster cast of those. Oh. Since this really represents Carl and right. that you guys really sort of like were hugging him, had your hands on him. Yeah. It's beautiful. Ty explained that it's like we're hugging Carl. Very emotional. I love the idea, love the aspect, you know, where he was coming from with that. Because we're forever going to be hugging Carl. And I just love the representation that it meant. And it, it does mean a lot to us. As you guys can tell, um, we put a lot of beautiful energy, I think, in the backyard to make sure that yes. all the things that were special to you guys were still here. But there's one more thing that I think we need you guys to do to, to sort of finish up uh, the backyard okay. this week. And I'm going to pass that over to Michael. We knew this means a lot to you. And you showed this to me in the garden, which was just over there. And I think it would be just wonderful it sits by Carl's tree, just like it was before. Oh, boy. It's beautiful. The angel was actually from the service. In our former house, we put it in the garden. She's embracing the heart. And to be able to put the angel on Carl's tree, you know, that's where the angel belongs. And I know that I will see Carl again. And in the meantime, you know, to know that he's kind of looking out for us is extra special.